All right, hello guys, how's it going? Um, welcome to a new video. Uh, today I want to share to you um, an unboxing and some early thoughts about a graphics card I bought. So this is my first NVIDIA graphics card in many years. And it is also my very first uh, card from Colorful. So this is the Colorful Battle Axe uh, RTX 3060. Uh, I wanted to try an RTX card in order to do some CUDA work. Uh, you know, I, I have been using AMD Radeon cards for about four or five years. And I really like them. I, I've never had any problems with the uh, Radeon cards. But, you know, recently I, I got a bit interested in some in learning some stuff which requires CUDA and also you know getting to know some more uh, stuff about uh, editing videos so I thought it would be a nice to try out an NVIDIA card so I chose this model because I wanted a small card I actually wanted a different model of the 3060 I originally wanted the Billy Billy version looks like the reference model and you know first opening this uh, card from colorful you have a, a quick start guide you have some information right you, you get an information card and you, you get some protection you know so the card doesn't shake around during shipping it is very well packed and here it is it is the card itself and I am very happy with the size um, I actually chose this card because it was not very big. Uh, you know, I, I I wanted to go smaller since it is just a 3060. You can see the seal here. I believe it says the card is not for uh, cryptocurrency mining. So let's get that seal out of the way. And just pull a little bit. Oop! There we go. And we're going to take a look at the card. And man, let me tell you, this card is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the backplate is really nice too. It seems like the Battle Axe logo is etched onto it. There's no RGB, no fancy stuff. It's just a really good looking card. Um, you know, the, the pictures online do not do it justice as to how beautiful this card is. I, I did not expect it to be this good, but, you know, here we are. So I will start talking about my initial um, impressions. So uh, first of all, the software, uh, after I installed the card, I tried the software and I was pleasantly surprised to see that the software has been improved by a lot since the time I used it and I even got a nice overclock by using the automatic tuning feature uh, it was about 175 megahertz um, I'm not sure they, it is going to affect a lot since the card really doesn't need any overclock but I did it anyway and it's now very easy to use uh, I really like what they're doing with the software and then I proceeded to start my favorite uh, Doom Eternal and uh, this game I set it to absolutely stupid settings so it is set to Ultra Nightmare and I set DLSS to performance and you know I was very surprised because even at 1440p you know with everything maxed out even ray tracing I am getting about 140 FPS sort of uh, during heavy combat maybe it drops to about 100 or 90 FPS you know if, if you're doing a a glory kill close to some enemy but you know it is very impressive that even with such a small card you can just go ahead and turn this on and you know it, it plays fantastically so I'm going to let you see a small clip of how it runs
Now, the, the big kicker here is that the only reason the card is running so well is because of DLSS, right? And I think this technology, which is, you know, basically you have a specific part of the chip which is handling the anti-aliasing, so to speak, you know, through the use of that uh, AI technology in order to produce the final image. You know, in a certain way, if you're not using DLSS, you are really leaving performance on the table because you're not using the the whole card to render a frame. So a lot of people do not like this technology. Uh, they think it, it, you know, it's a different way of rendering graphics in a game. Um, after trying it myself, uh, you know, n not the version which runs on on traditional shaders, but actually the this version which requires the tensor hardware to work. I am very impressed by the image quality to the point where if I set it to performance, I don't really notice that you know I'm losing any image quality. So it seems to me that even this type, this class of card, if if you're okay with accepting the fact that you know in the future uh, games are going to be rendered in different ways using this type of technology, then you are really punching way above the weight of what this card is supposed to do. You know, if, even with my 6900 XT, it was very difficult to to get this class of performance going with ray tracing. And uh, just to close this video and show you what I mean, if you take a look at this small clip of Monster Hunter Rise with DLSS, I basically cannot see any Jaggis at all. It's as if the game, you know, didn't even know Jaggis existed. So it is very impressive technology. I am really hoping to see what what more they can do with it. But so far, I'm very impressed. So these have been my first... Um, impressions of this card i'm really happy with um so far with colorful this is my first try my first time trying one of the cards um here are some pictures of the card compared to my 6900 xt as you can see the colorful card is very small and it is also not as heavy um that 6900 xt was a triple slot and you know just to show you a uh, picture of the card installed into my system. Here it is. Um, this card uses only one 8 pin connector, 170 watts. Uh, it saves a lot of power. Uh, and you can probably save more power by doing some underbolts, but I don't think it's necessary. So, yeah, I'm going to be uh, learning some stuff using this card and I'm going to try to post more about it and I am definitely going to compare the performance to my 6900 XT by using some of the videos I recorded before. So that's going to be it for this time and thank you for watching and if Colorful is interested in sending me other cards so I can try them out please contact me. Anyway that's it see you all later.